Zuckerberger was born with a port wine stain on her face. As a child, she faced humiliation and applied a thick layer of makeup to cover up the mark. She now joins us to talk about what gave her the courage to undergo a series of laser surgeries to treat her condition and how she's been able to deal with other life struggles. She discusses all this and more in her latest project, a memoir, Getting Naked. And we welcome now Susan to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, I, I hate to say I'm a little bit of a coward. Okay. Um, getting surgery was really not my idea. And I have to thank my children's father for introducing me to Dr. Geronimus mm -hmm. in 1987 when I actually started uh, doing laser surgery on my face. Um, I've been going through different sessions and different advancements. And as the laser surgery has advanced, it has removed my port wine stain. Mm -hmm. Now, when I started this surgery, and I'm actually going for my 31st treatment mm -hmm. next week, and um, we've been doing this for three years now, and I go every month to six weeks, and I have a laser treatment. How does that make you feel doing this? Thing? Because it's a three-year process. I mean, talk to us about the process. Well, the process is probably um, frustrating because I'm probably one of the few old people that are successful. Their success stories are really on the little kids, and there's very few two-year-olds that can come and chat with you on Bronx Open, so mm -hmm. therefore I'm talking to you. Um, there are no real structure. It's still kind of in the processes, but I'm telling you at my age, it works. Mm -hmm. Now, I've taken care of my skin, and I'm very proud of myself now that since the age of four, I could cover my face. Mm. And um, I think I've been successful because really not too many people know. And I've been able to successfully advance from using heavy coverage to Estee Lauder or Clarence mm. or Clinique with a combination. And now I'm just a regular girl which is really, really strange. Talk to us about down through the years, because you know we said in the introduction, dealing a little bit with the struggles and having to deal a little bit with some humiliation even of dealing with this whole thing. Well, it changed me. Um, it's not easy growing up not pretty in a world that you have to be pretty. It, it's harder. Um, I never put myself out there, and I'm embarrassed, especially when you had a teacher on your show, that I didn't do that well in school, and I regret that. But that could have been my anger, or I didn't want people to know, and I wanted to be popular because I was different. Mm -hmm. But it's not easy for a kid to grow up, even today. And it's not easy for a woman. And when you have, in the morning, the first thing you do is cover your face because you don't want someone to know what you really look like. Mm -hmm. um, it changes how you do things. And I would rather other people be the center. Well, now, I have nothing stopping me. I've been given this new face. And now you've got this story of getting naked. Well, yes. Um, I'm in the middle of writing my memoirs, and we're hoping that it will come out um, summer reading next year. Um, it takes a process. But right now, it's more important for me to be talking about how amazing my doctors are. Mm -hmm. and get people to go visit their doctor who have port wine stain. Can you believe that three out of every thousand children have a form of port wine stain? Now mine happened to end up on my face, which is more difficult, but they're at different parts of your body and also men have it and women. It must be much more difficult for men because I could hide mine. Mm -hmm. And so coming out, most people think, well, Suzanne, what did you have to struggle? You had normal struggles. Well, it was a little harder because every day I had to coach myself and put a smile on my face. And somehow it made me have a better attitude and a great smile. And, and can you imagine how beautiful my insides it now radiates outside. And you feel good about it. Talk to us about this, though, because you say, like, every six weeks, or it was every month to six weeks, you're, you've been enduring this process now. How, uh, how, how intense is the process? It's an intense process, but it's been kind of more difficult for me because my life is completely different. Um, last year, my husband passed away, and I have a new face. So I'm really at a very beginning 
of a life. And for anyone um, 54, mm -hmm. um, it's a, comp a lot of other women have going through this. Now, when I was a child, I thought I was the only one who had a port wine stain. When I got divorced, I thought I was the only single mom with two kids that were struggling on their own. Um, when I went through life, I always thought it was just me. It was surprising. There's a lot of people just like me. Mm -hmm. The only difference between me and them is I had an excuse. I had to hide who I was. Now, getting undressed and naked is kind of allowing. I'm finding other people to kind of sit back and watch me do it because it allows them to personally undress and get naked themselves. So in sharing your story, you're feeling that others are feeling more compelled to be encouraged and at the same time share theirs? Yes. And I think if someone stands up, we can focus on the positive things. And um, I would like to think that this is the most wonderful part of my life. I've spent my life raising my children and, and doing all of those accomplishments a woman does. And, you know, what path do you go on? Um, it's kind of cool to know I've done something right. Mm -hmm. and. There is no right way of doing it. And you can have a career and you can be a mom. And all of this resilience, it's kind of like being a woman. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do the best. Has surgery given you life over again, if, in, in, in a matter of speaking? Well, it's forced me to not hide anymore. And it's, it's a slow step. This is very frightening for me because this is the first time I'm actually allowing people to know the truth. Mm -hmm. um, there are no photographs of me with my port wine stain except the one you have of me. Mm -hmm. um, not because there are no photographs, it's because my reality was I was normal mm -hmm. behind my mask. And we're, seeing, and we're seeing it right there. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Little girl accomplished that much. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So down through the years, you've had to deal with this and talk about this because you said the process of what you've endured in the early years, seeing yourself um, and not feeling the best. What's it like now after knowing what you felt like and where you are today? Well, there was a, um, it, and it sounds sad, they were worried that no one would want to ever marry me. Well, that's completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, you know, sometimes we worry about what other people think of you. And my main focus was to get married. Well, now that I've gotten that over and I know that, now the focus is me. Mm -hmm. um, I've raised my children and they surprised me. They turned out much better than I ever anticipated. And they've inspired me and I've move forward to go for the dreams I've went for. When I was 21, I decided to get married. Um, I had another opportunity and those were my dreams. Um, those dreams now are there for me to fulfill. Where can people find out more information about your story and about this whole process? Uh, what can they do? Well, um, you can reach me on Facebook. It's Suzanne Vitaberger. Um, it's easy. I'm the only Suzanne Vitaberger out there. Mm -hmm. um, you can email me at Vitaberger at gmail. Um, talk to me. I'd be happy to talk to you about port wine stains. Uh, also, um, starting life over again and keep in touch. I'm hoping the book will come out soon. Um, it's not easy getting naked, but right. <laughs> um, I'm, you're, you're I'm a little chilled, uh -huh. but um, I think it's important. And port wine stains are something that nobody talks about. Um, insurance companies don't necessarily all, always cover surgery. And not everybody knows about it, mm -hmm. and it's important for them to know about it. So right now we're just talking about the simple things and talking about port wine stains and great uh, technology advancement in laser surgeries. And also, if you need to know more about port wine stains, there's uh, the Vascular Birthmark Foundation. And there's a, also a wonderful support group, uh, birthmarks.com, and that's for families who are going through it. And, and the main question is, how many sessions should I, does it take? It takes mm. as many as it takes. And you have to believe in your doctors, and you just have to have faith. Mm. Every time I go for surgery, it's another layer off. 
and it's another step to my next step. So it's a different life. I get out of bed. I don't put my makeup on anymore. And it feels good, huh? Um, it's a little strange, and I'm getting used to it, but, you know, good things should take their time. Take a little time, and uh, unfortunately, we're out of time here, but Suzanne, thank you so much for coming and sharing your story, and uh, best wishes to you in the future, and best wishes on uh, getting naked. Well, maybe I'll come back. Yes, you can. you oh, got to come absolutely. back. All righty. Thank you.